Hello for everybody. Good morning to all of you. This is Dr. P. Surendra Padhyan speaking from Bangalore. Now in this video, I want to tell you about why Revati star is more intuitive and uh, why not Kunarasu nakshatra. The lots are different. Lord of Revati is Mercury and that of Kunarasu is Jupiter. The first thing is Revati is the star of Mercury. Mercury is for the intelligence, interpretation, calculation, computer, astrology, business and so on. In case of Revati star, the Lord Mercury is in Jupiter's house, that is Pisces, whose Lord is Jupiter and Jupiter is for knowledge, karma, jnana, plumpy, legal matters, astrology and so on. Revati star in Pisces, which is watery sign, and Pisces is having very deep water. Hence, Revati star people will think intelligently and also deeply and make the discrimination or their judgment through Jupiter, a Jnana Karaka, a Karaka planet for the intuition. So, whatever you give, they use their brain and make their application of mind and make the matter into fine slices and come to a very concrete conclusion after deep thinking on the subject. As Pisces is for deep water, for your information, Karkarashi or Cancer is also for small lakes and ponds or well and for pure water. Scorpio is for the dirty water as they always think dirtiness in their mind and Pisces is for the deep water. However, if Jupiter, the Lord of Pisces, is debilitated, or Mercury, the Lord of Gemini, is posited in Pisces, it becomes debilitated. They, that means Pisces people, are deprived of this nature. They cannot have the intuitive power as much. Same thing if Jupiter becomes Maraka and Bhadaka and has Kendrani Pratya Dosha also, if it is exalted and if also retrograded, then it has double strength and power. So, the native born in such an environment will be having more intuitive power. That means if Jupiter is exalted, then more intuitive power. If it is retrograde, also double power. This Rashi is governed by Jupiter and Western has allotted this Rashi to Neptune, which is the god of the ocean, will be strong in the sun. Again, the qualities of Neptune are same as that of Jupiter. I think those of Neptune people must agree with this. In, the, in this sign, Venus gets exalted, Mercury gets debilitated, and Saturn does not lose strength as he is the friend of Jupiter. Both Saturn and Jupiter are biggest planets in the universe. In fact, people are or Vedic astrologers think that Jupiter and Venus are enemies, but Jupiterians are inclined towards spiritual and religious obligation or life. That is, we Venusians are, that is, Venus peoples are out to satisfy their animal instincts and will try to enjoy all the fruits available in the world. This Pisces is friendly to Sun, Moon, and Mars, but to Mr. Great KP astrologer Sri Krishnamurti said, only Moon alone can have full advantage in this Pisces sign, as Moon Rashi to Pisces is nine. In a way, for Cancer Rashi, Pisces is the ninth sign, which is sign of Bhagya. So, Moon will form the trine aspect to its sun. Mars will be weak to bestow the results to Pisces people as it is 12th sign to Aries. Sun loses strength to offer the matters signified by Leo as it is the Lord of Sixth House to Pisces, which is Runa, Roga, and Ripu star. Also, it is the house for services and divers also, as it is 12th house to 7th house. Pisces is the 12th house of the zodiac, and since 12th house denotes sea voyage and life in a foreign land, it is appropriate to allot this house to Neptune, as it is the god of the ocean. And also Pisces people will be always stay away from homeland or in foreign land. Pisces is denoted by two fishes, one is heading towards north and another is heading towards south, indicates that Pisces people will always dragging the matter too much. 
even if they start talking also they waste their person's time that they should aware of this is the house of moksha and hence god expects them to do lots of charity and help to others needy people to attain the moksha early physics water cold dual science feminine science physical science psychic science psychic science emotional science also physics is a water science ruled by the jupiter the chief governor of philosophy and uh, progeny and these people are restless dreamy philosophical never hesitating to lead a romantic life and contemplating besides imagining imagining these persons are honest outspoken helpful and human they will not go into the cause of others trouble but he will lead his assistance at moment's call that is special people are very very helpful in nature just like water puts out of their fire these people have the capacity to calm down the people their enemies very well treat them courteously and forgive them also this is a great characteristic of five people i have one calling mr b r gorki who hears all the who actually bears all these five characteristics even today soon after he receives call from us he never delay even a moment to help us great soul indeed they are staunch ahimsa person they cannot harm anybody same thing in case of konar sanakshatra it is in germany as well as in karka for information konar so first father is in germany and whose lord is mercury and konar so third father is in karka rashi i mean three fathers are in karka rashi which is also sign of watery but small pawn or so and is uh, pure water also but these pisces people are depos- depositing huge fund of more mer- meritorious deeds rather than deposit in the fund which can be saved from the economical angle these things even they are not aware of this is the gift from the god to these people since it is dual sign sometimes they are puzzle to gentle as well as to others also one can find such a person contradiction in their nature they cannot be steady they are mostly sweet tempered and socially inclined people being a feminine sign they may be very polite and modest and can have always fresh ideas being a dual sign sometimes they are not reliable to believe at all they may suddenly change their act depending upon the audience being the 12th sign of the zodiac see pisces is the 12th sign of the zodiac they will have apt to learn upper signs also only weakness among pisces people they do not have their own self confidence sometimes they want push then only they can show their inborn qualities very well my elder daughter is uh, the best example for this these people are always having the wish to go overseas and they do visit foreign land also since mars is a second lord second house lord that is aries they are fearless people and earn more and more and also spend more Venus being the lord of third house gives them good neighbors since mercury is the lord of fourth and seventh house they are student studious and are ever changing their residence and also they are getting very intelligent business oriented computer savvy with their inclination towards astrological knowledge folks pisces people are good bankers managers teachers accountants caterers nurses and welfare workers Venus may bring them doubt and intestinal tumors. Saturn may bring them rheumatism, ankle pain, and leg pain. Jupiter may bring them feet swollen, enlargement of liver, tumors in the abdomen, problems in intestine, deficiency of enzymes. Mars may bring them fracture in the foot, inflammation in the bowel, corn, pile, fistula, deformity. Mercury may bring them generous nervous debility, deafness, cramps. TB and sun may bring the perspiration of the feet, chillness, intestinal troubles due to lack of blood supply and typhoid. Moon may bring them over, drugging the system, cough and common cold. So the best advice to them: do not worry, as you are susceptible to varying moods. Do not be a little yourself. Cultivate push. Be generous but not liberal. Do not entertain hopes 
on other promises do not dream too much of building cases in the air one defect in paisas is that they believe friends too much and let in life they realize that the world has produced both good and wicked people also and they are also not an exception to fall in the hands of satan and friends wisdom comes later these people will invite many friends because they want audience to listen to them but i pity them instead of inviting friends and getting solace to your uh, soul invite astrologers and get the knowledge so that you can attain your aim immediately aim what aim of moksha why i am telling the astrologers is that seven thousand is the lord of seven thousand lord is mercury mercury for astrology these special people do wish to have an educated husband and wish to give the higher education to their children always i mean instead of spouse as a husband we can call them as spouse educated spouse normally these people special people are always have happy married domestic life they are very affectionate at home here we find such people you are very sincere and true to your friends circle but they are never understand your sincerity and help you are going to render them please remember your 12th house is aquarius and the lord of it is saturn these 12th house people require your help and assistance as your sixth the second house for them actually so that is why they will take all the in depth knowledge of earth and they will use it as a weapon against you and may wish you your downfall also so please be careful from aquarius people in some cases spices people even went behind the bar also here punarasa nakshatra ruled people will use their destination through moon mercury which is very fast moving planet and the moon is the owner of chara rashi or a noble sign cancer whereas mercury is a owner of dual rashi gemini means their analytic power our analytical power will be very short like moon stay very quick like mercury and will be having very little intuitive power but they have intelligence and calculative nature since the lord of punarasu one father is jupiter even punarasu people will judge the people immediately but in haste the reason being mercury as well as moon the fast moving planet even you can see in their actions they are very fast eaters fast talkers and fast moving person again here legal mind and dharmic mind through intelligence whereas in case of revati star intelligence through legal and dharmic mind remember this nation will be sitting over and above religious matter in case of revati star first argument then intuition again revati star is the last star of zodiac and will always think of its moksha and do not give much prominence to any materialistic things in their life whereas punarasa nakshatra is just the commencement of zodiac it is the seventh star of zodiac and that to see the world and hence they will be living for surviving hence they will be after the materialistic things much and always they are the persons who say in the family myself my wife and my daughter and my son it is because karaka rashi is belonging to fourth from the kala purusha chakra and fourth house is for mother happiness family house property etc and these fellows are always talking about their family only and nothing they are for the betterment of their family and not for others or public even if others are admitted to the hospital they may not come even to see the patients also but if their own family members are admitted to the hospital to the hospital or they themselves admitted to the hospital they always grumble by saying see he and she did not come that is the nature of nakshatra punarasu okay so punarasu people are of caring type no doubt people like mother takes care of their children they always take care of their children even if they are 40 uh, one incident i may quote here that even at the age of four, i mean uh, 25 or 26 the girl mother is to uh, take her to the college that is the is a punarasu okay 
Karka Rashi is a crab Rashi. Remember, crab is for running away from the scene or from the, or from the public. So that is the nature of uh, cancer people. They will not come out boldly. So they are always hiding from the scene. Okay? This is just an analysis of two stars and likewise in future I will be able to analyze more and more about nakshatra. Please do not take anyone personally. What I mentioned names are of for uh, uh, Prasabadda in Canada. Okay. So for that only I used to use this. Rayoki star people are chatterbox. It is because Mercury is for top only. They do not know how to put lock to their mouth unless and until they fall sick or their mental power has gone on mad. If they are brought to the arguments, they bring facts and figures in your front and see that their matter is proved at last. Okay? So I have seen many reality people, they are best arguers. They will not leave the issue in the middle in their life. So they go deep in the matter, like Pisces is for the deep water. For anything, they go deep. Okay? And of course, for the help of for the people, not for themselves. Okay? With this, I conclude this Revati star, and you must have observed what is the difference between Revati and Punarasu. Thank you very much. Happy Friendship Day.